Living in a foreign embassy is often thought of as a lifestyle surrounded by formal parties, visiting diplomats, and a constant stream of social engagements. But actually, it's a lot more. I'm Joe Ruggiero, editor of The Living Magazine, and in just a moment, we'll be talking with a lady who's a real authority on the subject and find out what living in an embassy is really like. The Living Magazine. Brought to you by Ethan Allen Galleries. We help you make beautiful rooms. We've gone to the ambassador's residence at the British Embassy in Washington, D.C. to meet the woman who has made this house her home. Hello. Lady Wright, wife of British Ambassador Sir Oliver Wright, visited with us in her cheerful morning room, surrounded by the personal mementos that reflect her own personal style. There she shared some observations about embassy life and how in many ways it is much like living in any home. We asked her to tell us something about the many people she has entertained. Well, first of all, I think you said you meet many people, and that's the key word. Um, I think in our first two months here, we greeted two and a half thousand people through the house. They didn't st all stay the night, but uh, a lot of them did. And um, you said make them feel at home. Well, um, you try and treat them as if it was your home in England, and you do all the things you would do when your friends come to stay, like. Um, making their rooms pretty, you put flowers in the room, you arrange books that you think they might like to read, uh, you make sure a few biscuits in case they're hungry in the middle of the night. I see you have a lot of figurines, interesting figurines, and that's part of your collection. Can you tell me a little bit about them? I think uh, one of my most interesting collections is my theatre figurines and the Staffordshire ones that are above the fireplace. And in the middle you see that's David Garrick playing Richard II. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Lorenzo and Jessica in A Merchant of Venice. And on the right you've got Othello and Iago in Othello. And you see Iago is telling Othello, look out, what is your wife up to? Tarang. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the uh, Sir well, Lawrence and Sir John figures. Actually. Oh yes, well those were uh, made in the Briglin pottery. John Gielgud is particularly good, I think. You can't uh, not recognize who that is. And then we've got Lawrence Olivier as Henry V. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the costume sketches. I think uh, they are particularly charming and I think it's also interesting the way you have the swatches of the exact fabric. Yes, well these were, these were all done by the um, wardrobe mistress who designed the costumes too and these are all sort of different parts I've played. So it's uh, quite a comfort to carry around with one and remind you what you did in the past. I understand there's a uh, painting that might be of interest to uh, our American audience and the residents. Yes, indeed. Um, apart from the lovely Turners in the drawing room, we've got a picture up in one of the sitting rooms going off the Laura Ashley bedroom, um, which was uh, a picture of Montgomery painted by Eisenhower. And it's a very, very good picture, I think, of Montgomery. And a side of Eisenhower, I don't think many people know. Let's talk again about the decorating. I would say that the residence here at the British Embassy is probably one of the most beautifully decorated residences I've mm. seen. Um, can you tell me a little bit about why it was done? Well, I think um, it was done to try to show the best of British um, home fashions and how particularly good our uh, curtaining is and our, our design for uh, curtains and covers and to make it much more of a country home. And let's talk especially about the dining room because I think when you entertain in the dining room it's so beautiful the way the flower arrangements are set. Well we're particularly lucky to have some lovely silver of course to put the flowers in. Mm -hmm. We've got some very ancient silver called the Hague piece. Mm -hmm. And that is always filled with lovely flowers. And it's done mostly by uh, my butler, Mr. Lightfoot, or the gardener, Kerry Blockley. Thank you very much. I've been talking with Lady Wright here at the British Embassy in Washington, D.C. This is Joe Ruggiero for this edition of The Living Magazine.
The Living Magazine has been brought to you by Ethan Allen Galleries.